In this tutorial, we are going to learn about the gymnosperm classification. Gymnosperm classification by Spohn. K. R. Spohn published gymnosperm classification in the year 1965. The entire gymnosperms were divided into three classes. Spohn divided gymnosperms into three classes. First one is Cycadopsida, second is Coniferopsida, three is Nitopsida. You can see on the chat the class Cycadopsida is divided into the four orders. First, Pteridospermils, second, Benetitals, third is Pentoxyles, fourth is Cycadales. The second class Coniferopsida is divided into four orders. First is Caudital, second is Coniferales, third is Taxales, and fourth is Ginkgoales. And the third class Neetopsida is divided in one order, that is Neetales. Class 1 Psychadopsida. Psychadopsida includes fossil and living form plants, which means the Psychadopsida. Plants includes the living plants and the fossil plants which are the extinct pl plants. And the stem of the Psychodopsida is unbranched. The stem does not have any branches. And the large and pinnately compound leaves are present. In pinnately compound leaves, the on the leaf axis, several leaves are present. For example, just like the neem plant has several leaves on one leaf axis. Okay, next is the male cones are large and compact with simple microsporophylls. As gymnosperm does not produce any flowers, they produce cones. They are male cones and female cones. The male cones are large and compact with simple microsporophylls. And the female cones are loose, pinnate leaf like. Pinnate is on a single leaf axis, there are small leaflets are present. And megasporophyll is simple and the ovules are large. Anatomically, this stem is with wide cortex. The cortex of the stem is wide and the wood is manosylic. In manozylic wood, large amount of parenchyma is present. Example for the manozylic wood is the cycus plant. On the screen, you can see the images of few Cycadopsida plants. Class Cycadopsida consists of four orders, Pteridospermils, Benetitals, Pentoxyles, and Cycadales. The first order of the class Psychodopsida is Pteridospermils. Pteridospermils are also called as Cycadophilicales. They are Cycad ferns. The leaves of the Pteridospermil plants are similar just like the ferns. All the Pteridospermils plants are the extinct forms. Not even a single species is present now. Uh, they appeared in the Devonian period and were abundant in Carboniferous period. The morphology and anatomy of pteridospermals was similar to that of ferns, which are the living ferns. The pteridospermal plants were similar to that of the living ferns. Cones are not produced by this group. Ovules are delicately borne on the leaf margin. Tridospermal plants does not produce cones and the ovules are directly borne on the leaf margin. Ovules can be seen directly on the leaf margins and the example for the tridospermals is the Ligneopteris. On the screen you can see the image of the Ligneopteris. Leaf structure is similar just like fern plants and the red color ovules can be seen on the leaves. And the second order of the class Psychodopsida is Benetitals. Benetitals are also called as Psychodioidales. 
they are also called cycad yodels because their plant body was similar to the living cycads venetatal plants appeared in the triassic period common gymnosperm of the mesozoic era venetatal plant appeared in the triassic period and they were the common gymnosperm plants in the mesozoic era completely extinct in the cretaceous period all the plants of the venetatals were extinct in the cretaceous period plant body resembles that of living cycads plant body is similar to the living cycads have slender stem slender is thin stem example for the venetatals is the williamsonia plant reproductive parts were flaw like reproductive parts of the venetatals were flaw like cones are bisporangiate or monosporangiate two kinds of the spores were present they were the bisporangiate spores and the monosporangiate spores on this screen you can see the image of the plant williamsonia pentoxylales is the third order of the class cycadopsida a complete extinct group all the plants of the pentoxylales are the extinct plants were shrubby shrubby is plant produces branches but does not have trunk they don't have trunk and they don't grow in the diameter trees have trunk and also branches but shrub has only branches but they don't have trunk in pentoxylales the stem is present which is five vascular strands each vascular strand with one cambial ring and undergoes secondary thickening on this screen you can see the image of the stem of the plant where there are five vascular strands this group was originally described by professor birbal sahani of india female inflorescence is with many cones inflorescence is the arrangement of the floral but the gymnosperms does not produce any flower but they produce only cones and the male structures are dev developed directly on dwarf shoots dwarf is short they can directly see in on the shoots example for the pentoxylales is the plant pentoxylon and sahnia plant and the fourth order of the cycadopsida class is the cycadales they are living cycadophyta most of them are xerophytic in nature xerophytic is they can survive in the less quantity of water the plant body is palm like and very slow growing plant body of the cycadales refers to the family like ericaceae palm family is the angiosperm plant not the gymnosperm palm plants like areca and the date palm plant etc stem is short and unbranched usually they are the living cycadophyta okay these points are repeated again the example of the cycadales is the cycas revoluta cycas bedomi and cycas pectinata and etc just click the gymnosperm plants of this channel you can find beautiful plants of the cycas cycas plants are covered with persistent leaf scales here the persistent means the leaves are green in color perennially throughout the years leaves are pinnately compound arranged as a terminal crown already we have discussed the meaning of pinnate and they and they are arranged as the terminal crown leaves show cincinnate vernation which means the leaves are arranged like a bud just like the flower bud before opening it is arranged closed all cycads are dioecious the di dioecious is the plants which grow the male and female plant flowers on the different plants 
ovules are straight anatropous ovule type in anatropous ovule the funiculus and the micropyle lie close to each other class coniferopsida also consists of four orders they are coratales coniferales taxales and ginkgo goals class 2 is coniferopsida members of coniferopsida are large profusely branched tree forms coniferopsida plants are long and they have branches plants with cone like appearance the appearance of the plant is cone like and the leaves are the simple anatomically the pith is small anatomically is into inside inside the plant stem the pith is present which is small xylem dense and massive xylem is thick and more the wood is pycnoxylic type pycnoxylic is the wood has less parenchyma vice versa of manoxylic type male and female strobili is compact and contain complex sporophyll the male and female cones or strobili is compact and contains complex sporophylls on this coin you can see the image of the coniferopsida plants the first order is coratales of the class coniferopsida they are early conifers appear during the carboniferous period all are the extinct forms no living representatives the plants were tall trees with star shaped leaves the plants were tall and the uh, shape of the leaf was star like the reproductive structures were catkin like clusters catkin is the flower hanging down um, examples are the cordytales and the mesozylon and the second order is the coniferals of the class coniferopsida literally we are very familiar with these plants we can see this plant as uh, ornamental plants at the universities or the colleges and gardens etc mostly evergreen trees coniferals are the evergreen plants and these are the living plants coniferals represent the largest gymnosperm order and these are the living forms this is the important question for the entrance point which is the largest group in the gymnosperm that is coniferous plant possess xerophyte adaptations xerophyte means the plant can also survive in the less water leaves are usually needle like and spirally arranged wood with a large number of resin canals resin canals are present when the plant is injured the secreted resin act as protection plants are monoecious or dioecious monoecious is the the male flower and the female flower grow on the same plant of the same species and the dioecious plants are those in which the male and the female flower grows on the different plants of the same species that is all the male flower grows on the one plant and all the female flowers grow on the another plant of the same species pollination in coniferals is by wind example is pinus and the third order is taxels of the class coniferopsida members of taxels are evergreen small trees or shrubs and extensively branched plants leaves are simple solitary flat leaf arrangement is spiral secondary wood is pycnoxylic example is taxus taxus are evergreen small trees and they are shrubs and they are branched and leaves are simple solitary flat and the secondary wood is pycnoxylic pycnoxylic is they have very less parenchyma on the screen you can see the image of the plant taxus and the fourth order is ginkgo goals of the class coniferopsida 
Ginkgo goils consist of only one genus with one species that is Ginkgo biloba. Ginkgo biloba is a living fossil. Ginkgo biloba plant is native to China and uh, the leaves are broad, bilobed, two lobes are present with dichotomous venation. Plant with seeds. Ginkgo biloba is the only species which has the dichotomous venation. On the screen, you can see the image of the ginkgo biloba plant. And this plant, ginkgo biloba, is also used as ornamental plant in gardens. And the third class is Netopsida. Netopsida are shrubs or woody climbers. The leaves are opposite. Netails are the only gymnosperms having wood with vessels. Embryo is dicotyledonous. Dicotyledonous is the two cotyledons grow when seed germinates. Res resin canals are absent. Leaves and seeds has a connecting link between gymnosperm and angiosperms. The basic difference in the gymnosperm and the angiosperm is the gymnosperm plants does not produce flowers and the angiosperm plant produces flowers. Netopsida contains only one order that is Netails. This is this classification is according to the spawn classification. According to spawn classification of gymnosperm, the Netopsida class includes only one order that is Netails, and the example is Netum and Ephedra plants. On the screen, you can see the image of Netopsida plants. If you found this tutorial helpful then do like, share and subscribe to the channel.